Hello everyone. Namaste. I hope you're all doing absolutely healthy and safe. And today we'll talk about something that that is worrisome for a lot of us uh, because we've been bombarded with so much information on the internet these days that we don't know exactly how to go about it. Yes, I'm talking about weight loss. Now there are a few things that I want to quickly tell you about weight loss. It's a myth if people say that you have to go on crash diets or you have to work out a lot to lose weight um, or you have to go on a keto diet. You only have to eat protein or fat and you can't eat, eat carbs or you have to go on a low carb diet. It's not important. What's really important is that you make small little changes in your lifestyle which are sustainable that you can do honestly all your lifetime. So we'll be talking about a lot of such things but I'm going to show you some of my favorite asanas that I personally do for weight loss and I'm sure you'll enjoy. Join me on the mat. All right, we'll start with Surya Namaskar. That's my personal favorite. The one that we are doing today is Sun Salutation B from Ashtanga Yoga. You'll start with both your feet together. Hands and namaste on your sternum. On inhale, you will swipe your hands, bring them above your head into namaste into Utkatasana. Make sure that your knees are not crossing the line of your toes. Back absolutely straight. Exhale. Bend forward. You can modify by slightly keeping your knees bent and resting your chest onto your thighs. Now inhale, head up. Make sure that your back is absolutely straight. Exhale. Jump back. You can modify by stepping one foot at a time. Back. Step back, come down into a Chaturanga, inhale upward dog, exhale downward dog, now I am doing the modification, huh? you can modify by dropping your knees onto the mat, come down in one straight line, inhale upward dog, if you think that your thighs are lifting too much, then you can place your hands slightly above your chest and exhale downward dog. Ideally, your heels should be touching the mat, your back should be straight. But you can modify by lifting your heels and bending your knees so your back is more straight. Right leg comes in the front, flatten the foot at the back, inhale come up into a warrior one. Make sure that your hips are squared, your body is more towards your right leg, hands above your head. Look at your thumbs, exhale down, right leg goes back into a Chaturanga Dandasan, inhale upward dog, exhale downward dog, flatten your right foot. Left leg comes in the front, inhale come up into a warrior one. Make sure that you are really pressing your back foot into the mat so your front knee doesn't get all the pressure. Exhale down into a plank. As you exhale come down into a chaturanga, sorry inhale into an upward dog, exhale downward dog. Five deep breaths here. Jump to the front of the mat. Inhale. Head up. Exhale. Full bend. Inhale. Utkatasan. Exhale. Namaste. Surya Namaskar is one of the few exercises that literally involves each and every muscle of your body. So all the all the big muscle groups, your legs, your back, and your chest is involved. So, of course, the impact on your entire body, the fat loss of your body is, is way more. Now, you can do this any, anything between, uh, say, from 5 to 7 times in the beginning. Gradually increase to 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, how many ever you feel like. And uh, try and do it empty stomach or if you've had your meal, then at least wait for an hour and a half before you do this. The next asana that we're going to do is called Nokasan, which is excellent. Uh, to increase your core strength. It also works on your hip flexors and your quads and increases the strength of your legs in general. And um, it has a good impact on fat loss also. So start with lying down on your back. You can take slight support of your hands under your hips. 
but make sure that your back is pressed into the mat so there'll be a slight pelvic tilt here but your back is pressed into the mat and you keep your hands underneath your hips for support now inhale as you exhale i want you to lift your legs fold them and bring them into a tabletop now make sure that your toes are pointed you'll take mild support of your hand if you feel the need and you lift your back now make sure that your back is absolutely straight you pop your chest out and your chin is away from your chest this is not what we want here and your hands would be parallel to the ground palms facing each other now try and hold this posture for at least 5 to 10 deep breaths you can do this between 3 to 5 times in the beginning if this is a little too much for you you can start with keeping your hands on the mat and hold it to come out of the posture inhale slowly rest your back on the mat exhale a little inhale again and exhale bring your hands down next what we'll do is um, it's called kumbhakasan very commonly known as plank so you'll start in your all fours both your knees on the mat both your hands on the mat the placement of your hands would be such that your thumbs would be pointing towards each other and middle finger pointing in the front your fingers wide open and your hands nicely pressed into the mat now lift your knees come on to your toes make sure that your shoulders are not your upper back is not sinking in between your shoulders so you push the floor away push through your shoulder blades and you try and tuck your pelvis in so right now my pelvis is not tucked in tuck your pelvis in the moment you do that you'll feel a tightness in your core in your in your belly in your stomach and your hips will be tight too try and hold this posture for 15 to 30 seconds in the beginning and slowly increase to 1 2 3 minutes how much ever you for coming out of the postures gently drop your knees inhale and exhale relax into child's repeat 3 to 5 times as per your need plank has multiple benefits but the biggest that I can think of is uh, it's excellent to work your chest muscles, your shoulders, very good for strengthening your wrists and uh, it also engages your, your uh, core so much that you literally, you literally feel that your entire body is working a lot. Everything is working against the gravity so all your muscles are engaged and it's very good for strengthening your back also. The next one that we are going to do is more like a vinyasa, a flow of three asanas which is plank, downward dog and bhujangasana or upward dog. The reason we do this is because it, it, it also gives a slight cardio effect to your entire workout because you are constantly in motion, you are not holding something for too long and also it engages literally every part of your muscle. So you would feel that when you do it. Start with coming into a plank again, on your toes, pelvis tucked in, push the floor away, exhale downward dog, inhale plank, exhale here inhale upward dog you don't need to roll your toes out your toes can remain tucked in exhale downward dog make sure that your back is back is straight uh, push your chest towards your thighs keep your knees slightly bent or straight and your heels on the mat inhale plank exhale here inhale upward dog Make sure that your neck is not being cupped between your shoulders. You roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, push your hips down towards the floor. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. And so on and so forth. Start with doing this at least uh, 7 to 10 times. You can take rest in between. Eventually, you can increase to 20, 30, 40. Or you can even, even make a workout where you do 15, 15, a set of 15, 15 of these. Uh, Every time you rest, you can inhale and exhale into a child's. This will help you release the unnecessary tension in your shoulders and your wrists. And then you're good for another round. The next one is, is warrior two, also one of my favorites. We'll start with increasing the distance between our legs to about three, three and a half feet. Now turn your left foot out. Make sure that both the heels are in same line. With turning of your foot, you'll also try and turn the thigh on the out outside and your right foot is going to be absolutely perpendicular. Now make sure that you're really pressing the right foot nicely into the floor because when we inhale and raise our hands and exhale, we, the front knee doesn't feel all the pressure. Now make sure that all your fingers and your thumbs are together and your palms are facing the ground. 
and you're looking at your left hand. Your left knee should be right above your left ankle and try and keep your hips squared. Right? This will really help you open up your groin. It will work on the quads of your, of your bent leg, strengthening your legs from there. Try and keep your stomach nicely pulled in and hold this for at least 30 to 45 seconds in the beginning. You can increase it to one, one and a half minute and practice this at least three to five times. Switch legs, practice on the other leg also. To come out of the posture, you will gently inhale, straighten your leg, fold your left foot in, turn your right out, inhale again and exhale, bend your right knee. All right, so incorporate these asanas, these postures into your routine and within no time you'll start seeing yourself into a better shape. But along with all these exercises, all the physically strenuous exercises that we just did, please maintain a healthy diet. Eat home cooked food, try and sleep early, get up early or at least sleep for six to seven hours, drink a lot of water and stay healthy. Thank you.